interesting thing. I know our First Alert weather team was really keeping a close eye on things over the weekend and what a difference a day makes. Let's give you a live look at the Charlotte skyline. You never, ever think. Hey, no, look it's at this picture here that we had this incredible weather over the weekend. Kayla, yeah. two cities there, Rachel. Yeah, 100%. And just kind of looking back on this weekend, why we had that first alert weather day in place. Of course, that was a severe threat. You guys mentioned it. Fortunately, we didn't have that materialize here at home, but we had record rainfall in Charlotte. We had a couple inches of snowfall in some of our higher elevations and wind gusts just with the cold front moving through peaked around 40 miles per hour. I don't wow. know if y'all noticed that the winds picking up. Yes. yesterday. Yes. Oh, I noticed. I was yes. driving around around eight o'clock and that's when that cold front was actually moving overhead and it was sheets and of rainfall was, yeah. Ra brought in all that change temperature wise. It was like a shock after feeling the warmer temperatures over the weekend. 100%. Exactly, yeah. There's about a 20 degree difference as that was moving through and now we're left with the colder temperatures. So that cold front responsible for all of this now way off to the east of us and we've got high pressure moving in. So what that means that snow's starting to come to an end and those higher elevations. We are certainly dry. We're clearing out and the temperatures are just much, much colder out there. In fact, looking at Charlotte 47 degrees, but I wanted to show you our current conditions because we still have a little bit of a wind out of the north at 10 miles per hour and it's making it feel like the low 40s. So I would dress for the low 40s if you have some plans for lunch here or even just within the next hour. So it really won't be until about three, four o'clock where those high temperatures top out on either side of the 50 degree mark. If you've got plans later on this evening, after that sun goes down, these temperatures will drop quickly because our winds are calming down and we have those clear skies. We're going to be in the low 40s, even the upper 30s by around that eight, nine o'clock time frame, mid 30s as we get towards the overnight period. So high temperatures overall near the 50 degree mark for most of us. We have a forecast high temperature of 50 degrees in Charlotte. If you're listening in from the mountains, it's still in the 20s feels blustery. We still have those gusty winds over 20 miles per hour and your high temperatures will barely get above freezing this afternoon and then waking up tomorrow morning, low 20s in the higher elevations and then the mid to upper 20s for the rest of us. 28 forecast low temperature in Charlotte will rebound back into the low to mid 50s. So a little bit warmer trying to get closer to normal for this time of year. But looking at the next few days, it's going to be a pretty chilly week ahead, but calm. We've got dry conditions on the way, some passing clouds possible in the middle of the week, high temperatures back in the upper upper 50s by Wednesday, so pretty seasonable in terms of where we should be this time of year. Low 50s by Thursday after waking up around freezing, and I think that's what you're going to notice most here the next few days. And I know Chief Meteorologist Al Conklin hinted on this this morning that each and every one of these mornings you're going to want to bundle up heading out the door. We're going to be around, if not below freezing, all the way through the start of the weekend. And then we start to warm up a little bit. So let's look at the weekend forecast, at least a preview of it. High temperatures in those mid to upper 50s could make it into the low 60s by next week. What we're going to be watching for as we head into really the weekend forecast, because as I mentioned, very calm here the next few days, cold mornings and then mild afternoons, if not cool. By this weekend, we're going to have to watch for an area of low pressure to develop over the Gulf of Mexico. How far north will that make it? That'll bring impacts to us if that makes it overhead. And that's why you've got that stray shower chance in the forecast for now on Sunday. Of course, we're still several days out. We're watching it for you. We'll let you know if we have to bump those numbers up. Mary.